Hello everyone. Welcome to Static GK Quest number 45. This video is aimed to help you with your central and state government job examinations. I'm with Trisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Which among the following five-year plans was launched with the specific objective of growth with stability? The correct answer is the fourth five-year plan. The fourth five-year plan was the first plan launched by Indira Gandhi government amid pressure of drought, devaluation and inflationary recession. Its duration was from 1969 to 1974. There were two main objectives of this plan, that is growth with stability and progressive achievement of self-reliance. During this plan, the slogan of Garibi Hatao was given during the 1971 elections by Indira Gandhi. The plan failed and could achieve growth rate of 3.3% only against the target of 5.7%. If the demand and supply of a commodity increases by an equal absolute amount, what will be the effect on the market price? Since increase in demand was equivalent to the increase in supply, the market value for the commodity will remain stable. A rise in price of one commodity will induce a fall in demand of another commodity. Then the commodities are, the correct answer is complementary. Since each commodity performs as an opposite to the other, they are complementary or they complement each other. Which among the following is a more suitable example of double counting in national income? Double counting in an accounting is an error whereby a transaction is counted for more than once, for whatever reason. In the given set of problems, B, cotton output and cotton cloth output is the correct answer. So if we calculate both cotton output and cotton cloth output, given that cotton cloth is made of the cotton already accounted for, it's an example of double counting. Which among the following is considered to be the best measure of an increase in a country's economic efficiency? Economic growth is sometimes defined as a long-term increase in real national income or real national output, but that may not be the best indicator of growth. There are two conditions in which the value of the national output or national income may increase. A when the production of goods and services increases but prices of goods and services are constant. B. When the prices of goods and services increase but the production of goods and services remain constant. The economic growth would be considered real growth when production of goods and services increase without increase in the prices of goods and services because this would imply in general economic welfare of the people. However, this will be true only when population also remains stable because then only real growth would result in increased availability of goods and services per head of population of the country. Thus, real per capita income and not the growth of real national income is a better indicator of well-being of the people of a country. Why are the transfer incomes not included in the national income accounts? In economics, a transfer payment or government transfer or simply transfer income is a redistribution of income and wealth made without goods or services being received in return. These payments are considered to be non-exhaustive because they do not directly absorb resources or create output. So the correct answer is they do not represent payment for economic activity. The autonomous increase in expenditure should result in an increase in a country's real GNP only if what? So GNP or gross national product is a broad measure of a nation's total economic activity. GNP is the value of all finished goods and services produced in a country in one year by its nationals. So increase in expenditure should result in an increase in country's real GNP only when the country's economy is working under conditions of less than full employment. Which among the following is considered to be the main determinant of the level of activity in its national income terms? The correct answer is realized investment. The first step towards electronic bond trading in India was the introduction of RBI's negotiated dealing system. 
in which year was this launched? RBI has created the negotiated dealing system as an electronic platform in August 2002 for dealing in government securities. It is an electronic trading platform operated by the RBI to facilitate the issuing and exchange of government securities and other types of money market instruments. So the correct answer is 2002. Consider the following 1. Dated securities 2. T-bills 3. Certificates of deposits 4. Municipal bonds Individuals in India can invest in which among the following? As a citizen of India, we can invest in either of those. So the correct answer is all four. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.